So thank you very much again, Dr. Anita Takwali, for your talk today on nail sur surgical anatomy. I just have a few questions about your talk. Of course. So the first is, please explain to me the importance of surgical anatomy. So when we are talking about nail anatomy, mm -hmm. I try to differentiate it slightly from the normal anatomy we need for pathology purposes. Mm -hmm. The surgical anatomy is mainly to encourage clinicians and surgeons to appreciate that when you're cut into a nail, mm -hmm. when you're doing procedures, either diagnostic biopsies or surgical tumors, mm -hmm. you understand what structures you encounter mm -hmm. in an anatomical, anatomical sense. Yeah. So you know what to avoid basically mm -hmm. and to ensure that things are removed properly. So surgical anatomy is basically anatomy from a surgical angle. Okay. And why would someone need to have surgery on their fingernails? So there are lots of reasons, as we've discussed today in our entire education day. Mm -hmm. There are diagnostic biopsies you need to know for inflammatory pathology, where we have a lots of differentials, mm -hmm. uh, where you're worrying about cancer. Yeah. And you want to be sure that there is a definite no, mm -hmm. because then you can safely treat the patient with topical treatments or tablets, mm -hmm. but you're not risking their cancer. Mm -hmm. Or you have tumours. You yeah. have harmless lumps, cancerous lumps, again you need to remove those mm -hmm. and send them for analysis. So surgery is such a vital part as it is in skin, mm -hmm. where a biopsy is important, in surgery nail is equally important and I'm, so we should encourage all our clinicians who see nail patients to undertake some, sur some, some nail biopsies and nail surgeries. Brilliant. And um, where should people go for more information if they're considering surgery on their nails or if they're worried about something on their nails? This is patients or doctors? Patients. So the patients first should get a diagnosis, like everything in life or mm. anything in dermatology, yeah. a diagnosis is crucial. So okay. first, their first port of call is always in UK, is yeah. the GP. Mm -hmm. And if their GP is concerned, if yeah. the GP is worried yeah. that it is a some sort of streak yeah. or which is coloured, it's a black line, mm -hmm. or they're worried it's a cancer, yeah. we've got a system in the country where you fast track it on a two-week referral system yeah. to the, the local dermatologist. Uh, so the, for patients, that is always the first spot. Yeah. It could be that it's a harmless condition, it's a fungal infection, which mm -hmm. your GPs can handle. So it's understanding, yes, Google is great, mm -hmm. but actually it's better <laughs> to have your doctor look at it. Brilliant. Um, and just from a doctor's perspective or a dermatologist's mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. um, why, why are they sometimes reluctant to, to conduct a nail surgery? So the thing is, I think Hollywood films are to blame for this. <laughs> Removing a nail is considered some sort of torture, so yes. people do get squeamish. Yeah. Uh, but as long as we put our medical hat on, we remember mm -hmm. we are doing a nail surgery uh, for a reason, for mm -hmm. a diagnosis or removing a tumour, mm -hmm. that fear or that squeamishness yeah. should hopefully settle on time. And that yeah. sometimes puts doctors off. And it's the patients, and if not done properly, the, mm. the cosmetic outcome, if it's not explained, yes. uh, that the procedure could result in a scar, it could result in a groove, mm. uh, that may put patients off. So yes. it's always as everything, you have to balance the risk of a surgery versus not doing surgery and getting a diagnosis wrong. Yes. Right. Um, and if people have concerns about having surgery, what would you say to, to reassure them or, or not, as the case might be? Again, the same. Everything is on the consent, explaining to the patient mm -hmm. in detail yes. what it involves, the anaesthetic involved, what are we trying to achieve, mm -hmm. giving them the post-operative risk well before. Mm -hmm. People professionally, people may be musicians, people are facing the public mm -hmm. and for them nail matters, if cosmetic matters and they've not been told or yeah. they're not aware of the risk cosmetically. Yeah. They need to be made. So I think that the dictum is a consent with the patient yeah. for what they are, what the outcome would be for them rather than a generic consent. Yeah. And that's even more important in nails. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You're most welcome.